Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hendra Vijaya. So today I'm going to do a quick review of this Thule Vertex 4 hanging bike hitch rack. So let's jump into it. There are like three different bike carriers you can buy. Uh, the first one is the roof type. Uh, so it's like a roof mounted. So in order to do that, you need to make sure you have the roof uh, ra rail installed on your car. And the second one is the trunk uh, receiver where you can like put the uh, carrier on your trunk area in here doesn't matter if this is sedan or suv and it's the simplest installation um, for that model so all you have to do just put the that's all the strap on your car and then you can just mount the bike uh, in there so the last one is the one that i'm going to show uh, today it's a hits rack model so basically in order to install this uh, vertex 4 you need to have the hits receiver installed on your car so if you look at underneath here so this receiver or this metal this bar it goes uh, underneath my car so i think it is going to the chassis of the car and i did this installation myself so i'm not a like mechanic type of person so if i can do it do something myself even though i'm not like a hardcore diyer i'm gonna do it myself right so installation is not that difficult all you have to do is just the proper tool um so for those who do not know in order to install this you need the proper uh, tool to do that so at that time i didn't have what is it called a uh, torque wrench right because i don't own it and apparently in the USA, you can borrow it from any store like AutoZone or yeah, any like car uh, tool company or car uh, accessories company for free. And at that time, I was so surprised because I came from Indonesia. In my country, there is no such thing, right? So when I go there, when I borrow that uh, talk ranch, they took it from the shelf, brand new, and they just gave it to me. They said, yeah. You can borrow it i asked well this is a new one i said don't worry use it after you're done just return it to us i mean it was amazing right anyway so i'm going to show you how to uh, install this tool on this uh, hits receiver it's very easy and straightforward and then i will show you also how to mount the bike on this unit so uh when i bought this yeah this is like actually the box and it was a very little or easy installation to assemble this unit because this cannot come out right so it was like inside so it's very easy and straightforward and this unit has been with me for probably over five years today and i still keep all the box because you know when you don't use it i like to keep everything tidy just put it inside the box and store it in my shed okay so let's take a look i hope i still remember how to undo this without damaging the packaging here um oh yeah just open one side and there's another side in here and here we go i'm not entirely sure this thing probably weigh like 40 or 50 pound maybe more oh it's quite heavy let's get it out of the way so here is the unit as you can see i think when i bought it this one was not installed i don't remember exactly how it looks when i got it but you can just follow the instruction it's very easy and straightforward right so since i already have the hitch refer all i have to do is very simple just attach this thing in here yep and then we want to lock it in place okay next step is to secure this unit so this short screw with all the washers it comes with the unit so all you have to do just slide this screw inside and then tighten it so i'm just gonna uh, tighten using hand at the very beginning and then it also comes with this hex key so basically nothing special with this key everyone can this key can get a key easily 
to um, undo this one, right? So all you have to do is just secure it. And then the question is, if we just put this kind of screw on this unit, what's going to happen if you park in the car and someone try to steal your stuff? They can undo this very easily, right? So that's the issue. That's why I upgraded this unit. It's called like a security uh, key. So how, what it looks like is basically a longer screw and at the end it comes with this lock. So it has like a locking mechanism so no one can undo the screw without the key to unlock this um, yeah, the lock, right? So it works the same way. Basically all you have to do is screw this in here, right? Tighten it using the hex key or whatever the tool that you have that fits with this uh, screw head. And then on the other side, all you have to do, just put it in here, right? And then lock it. So once you lock it, this cannot be released. Even though someone was trying to do that, to undo that, they cannot get away from this because it's locked. So this is like an extra thing. Uh, it is something that you may consider want to buy because like I said, it can be easily stolen if we, if you were using like a stand screw with that. Okay, now I'm ready to load the bike, but before um, I do that, so I'm gonna just gonna show you how to extend this arm. All you have to do is just pull this latch and then the arm is gonna extend like that. So as you can see, it has like four uh, bike holders. If we take a look at this, this is like the, the, the cage itself, like the holder itself. And it also comes with these two different plastics. The first one is the anti-sway cage and the longer one is the extension, right? So this is very useful. So all you have to do is just to uh, put it in here, right? Install it here and then that's it. So once you mount the bike in here, right? So pay attention with all this groove. All um, the uh, bike uh, metal wire is gonna go inside this groove and then you're gonna hold it in place. We will put a strap so it won't like go anywhere, right? So I'm just gonna show you how to load it now. Okay, I'm gonna mount the male bike first. Uh, so this thing is just gonna go here I will push this bike all the way to the back <sighs> so just pretend I'm going to load like four bikes instead of this one I mean if you have one you can put it on the second uh, place or even the third place doesn't really matter but probably it's better idea to put it all the way to the back because I think it holds better so in terms of the balance if you put it all the way on the back like that okay so this is how it looks once you load it and then notice this anti sway so it's not really locking in place but it goes uh, with the uh, bike frame right so this is the first bike now I want to show you the next one right so let me move the camera a little bit in here so you can see my beautiful yard with all these flowers. This is clematis. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you now is the female adapter. What is this? So this is basically a bike carry accessory. So what it does, it is a frame adapter that is required if you have bikes with this model. One, two, three, and four, like unusual. So it says, for modifies woman bike BMX and a non-standard frame right so my wife's bike it doesn't fit in there because of the way the frame is created right this one is has like an angle so we need someone uh, sorry someone something to hold it like that right that's why we need this frame so what I'm gonna show you now is to install this frame basically so I bought a Thule uh, brand as well I remember the price so I think it was pretty uh, expensive to me right so all you have to do just undo here right on both sides and this is an adjustable uh, like a telescopic so you can basically 
extend and retract so there is a max as well so here's the maximum okay so what i'm gonna do i will put it in here so it just catch the front uh, part of the bike like that lock it in place and then grab the back side do the same thing and then there so i think this is a good position oh you know what not really so what i'm gonna try to do move it up here there you go okay see that the difference so originally the frame it's like an angle 45 degree maybe maybe not right so whatever the degree uh, is but we need a horizontal bar in order to mount it on this carrier okay so i'm gonna try to load this the second bike so since that bike the front part is on the left side i'm just gonna put it on the right side to make it easier i'm just gonna put it on the position number three so again it can hold up to four bikes so just a little bit difficult to manage if you have like four bikes mounted on this carrier because it's not like long enough like the distance between uh, its holder in my opinion but if you want i mean if the this they design it like longer extend it all the way like three or four inches more i mean it's gonna look ugly i mean there, there should be a balance about this right so just assume you're just gonna do it this way okay so if you can uh, if you look at this it's pretty uh, secure right now and i have tested it so i didn't go to the mountain i just go you know uh, nearby my house so just bike in there and it was pretty stable at that time even if i drove my car in the highway with 70 75 miles per hour it is still solid right rock solid so it did not like uh, swing left and right so it's pretty good right it depends how you mount it and how you secure it right so i'm just going to show you the next step to put the strap in here and then the last is the security on this unit this one comes with it it's not like an additional stuff so when you buy this unit they give you this many straps so basically these are the straps that is required for you to secure its individual bike on both sides so i'm just going to show you a couple of them in here so i put it in and then what you have to do just pull uh, as much as you can and then lock it in place like that oh i need to move to the other side it's so difficult i cannot see it here we go there so extra security right we will always want to fully secure this bike so it doesn't go anywhere although it still can move but with this extra security strap it's gonna hold it in place better okay so let me show you what i'm doing in here uh, there you go here put it like that it's kind of stiff i haven't used it for probably three years maybe four okay see that so it is locking the bike in place right you need to put it on both sides left and right the same with their left and right okay the last thing i want to show you is the final and last security feature that this bike uh, carrier has so this one it's like a metal you know um, i don't know what it's called like a metal uh, security lock something like that you know so see the end of it it can go here right and then all you have to do just lock it in, in place so in theory no one cannot steal your bikes because it's all locked security number one and then security number two that's on the bottom one the one that i uh, showed you earlier where uh, that long screw it's uh, um, there down there to attach the um carrier to the hitch receiver so 
I think that's all. So let's look at this from the distance. Uh, there you go. So it looks okay. I mean, it's not a rocket science, right? It's just a bike carrier. Oh, I'm just gonna show you the last part. So let me show you quickly in here. I should have done it before, right? But it's okay. So what's gonna happen? People is gonna ask, if you want to open your trunk like this, you can't, right? I mean, you can like sneak in some stuff if you, if you want to fully open this trunk, you cannot do that, right? So there is an option. So this carrier, you can like tip it at 45 degrees. So I don't know if I can do this with the bikes. I think it's gonna be a little bit heavy, but let me try. So all you have to do is just undo this latch. And then, oh, no, nope, doesn't work. So let me unload the bike first. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is this, right? So it's about uh, opening this trunk. So all you have to do is just open this latch. And then this can go all the way to probably around 45 degree, right? That way you can fully open your trunk. So they already thought about it, right? And this is how you put it back. Pull that again and then push all the way until you hear a fully click, just like that. Okay, so I think that's all for today. I hope this video useful and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye